Hey, hey, hey! And hello, hello, hello! Happy Saturday, everybody! I hope you're feeling good and you are ready to work. It is definitely gloomy and rainy here, but we ain't gonna let that get us down, right? And Miss Rue is made, I don't know, she's kind of on the fence about how she feels about life right now. Hi! Do you think we can mess her up one high five for our friends? One high five for our friends? Look at you, good girl. <laughs> She's a, not a fan of the rain, in case you couldn't tell. So guys, what you're gonna need today, and then we'll talk real quickly about the workout and then get to work. I wanna make sure we have time to get to everything today. So, today is class number three of Swole for September. So if you're doing our upper body challenge along with us, today is the third round and it should be roughly about your sixth upper body workout this month. So the challenge is we're doing one upper video, upper video, one upper body video per week. And then we are also doing one extra workout upper body related throughout the week on our own. So we're just focusing on upper body for the month of September to see what we can do, what changes we can make with just putting a little bit of extra effort into one part of our body. So what you're going to need today, you're going to need your full upper body weight selection, just whatever you would consider a light, medium, heavy for yourself. So you're going to need that. And then you're also going to need a sturdy chair, a chair that you can sit in that can support your weight. And I mean support your weight in different, different ways. So not just sitting. We're going to do some dips, I believe. I'm going to say I wrote this class a week ago. I'm just not going to see it again <laughs> for the first time. Um, so maybe there's not dips. I don't think there are dips. Okay. So, but make sure that you've got a chair that is sturdy and can support your weight. And that's all you need today. Full weight selection and a chair. You don't even need a yoga mat. How about that? That's like the first time I've ever said that. So we are doing standard and seated upper body sets today. So I actually wrote this a while back, at least the first version of it when I had surgery on my leg and I was not supposed to be doing a lot of, um, you know, squatting or anything like that. So I had wrote this kind of stationary workout, but then I discovered by doing that, that it was really a great way. And I kind of knew it, but I had never really dove into it before, um, that you take any kind of momentum out of your work. And anytime you change your body positioning, that also changes how your body works again. So that's kind of two different ways, taking momentum out and changing your body position was really getting some different effort out of exercises we've done many times. So I thought that was pretty cool. And so I kind of modified it and brought it back today so that we could experiment with that again, especially since we're doing so much upper body work this month, I wanted to kind of come up with some different approaches. So I thought this was a great way to change it up. So we are doing two exercises, supersets. So superset just means that we focus on one muscle group for that whole round. So like our first set's going to be shoulders. Um, kind of back, uh, rear shoulder, and then our second set is going to be focused on kind of the front of our shoulders. Then we're going to focus on chest, then we're going to focus on back. So kind of sticking to one muscle group to really fatigue and max out the effort of that muscle group all at once and then sort of leave it alone after that set. Now all these muscles work together, so of course we're not completely leaving it alone, but I think you get the point that I'm making. We really double down on chest, and then we never touch chest directly again after that. It's kind of a simple way to say it. So we've got five rounds, hopefully, that we'll get to. Um, we'll see, but I'm going to shut up really quickly here, and we're going to get going. And so lastly, just the things I always say, please, please, please modify as you need to. Upper bodies are finicky and weird, and we all have little hitches and pulls and snaps and tugs and... So just modify as you need to. That could be adjusting your weights. That could be changing the exercise up completely. It just depends on what you've got going on. If you have any questions about modifications and you're working out live, just leave me a comment and I will put my head in and see what I can do to help you. And lastly, the couple things I always ask, please interact with us on social media in any way that you can, in any way you see fit. And also just word of mouth, people you talk to that ask, why are you looking so great? Please, please, please share where you are getting your work from. Anything we can do to get more people paying attention to this here would be wonderful. And lastly, if you can, please consider donating. This is a donation-based class. I receive no payment from anyone for this. Um, no business, no sponsorship, no anything. So anything you can give is greatly appreciated. Venmo at Strong Style Fit is where you'll find me. 
All right, guys, so first round is gonna be standing, so we don't have to worry about our chair just yet. And I would say for the first round, you probably need your medium to light weight is what you're looking for here. Um, for me, I'm gonna do two different weights. Um, so let me tell you what we're gonna do first, and then you'll know what weights to grab, and then I'll take my quick video check water break. So we're gonna do high pulls. So high pulls, we slide those weights up our body. We've done this recently. I think our last class we did these. High pulls, so we're pulling up our body, up and back. So we're engaging behind our shoulders. So this can be a heavier exercise, but not your heaviest exercise is most likely what you're looking at there. So that's gonna work the backs of these shoulders all through here. And then we're going to do Y, T, W. So we just did Y, Ws in our openers class. So we're gonna do Y, T, W. So we're adding in the T, the lateral raise is what we're gonna add in. So go ahead and grab what weight you need, grab yourself some water, get yourself set. I'm going to right back here, just a sec. Let's see. I'm setting out eights for myself, but I'm probably being overzealous. <laughs> Adding that lateral raise in, it was already a challenge. I did eights with the Ys and the Ws, and it was already a bit of a challenge. Adding the T in, I think it's going to make the eights. Damn near impossible, but I'm going to be uh, positive and send them out. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to grab some quick water, check the video, I'm going to meet you right back here. All right, friends, sorry for the camera shake there for a minute. I was having to adjust some stuff about my notes. All right, so we're going to start with those high pulls. So just be careful on your high pulls because it is a stronger exercise, and you may feel even stronger if you recruit some muscles that we shouldn't be recruiting. So if you go too heavy, you'll know because you'll start to feel all of your shoulder, shoulder girdle pull up you'll start to feel pull through your neck and through your traps. That's those muscles right back here. So you want to make sure you're keeping all of that down and just pulling up through the shoulder. If you feel any of this happening, it means your weight's too heavy, okay? All right, so let's get started. Roll that chest nice and open. We've got our weights right up against our legs. We're going to keep them nice and close to the body, and we pull up and back. Two. Three, four. This is one I'm always tempted to go heavier on, so I feel like everyone probably is. Um, I'd maybe, if I had 12s, go up to 12s, but I'm pretty certain 15s are gonna be too much. And I just said a bunch of numbers, and I'm thinking we're on six now. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, last one, 12, perfect. And you might be wondering, like this is a great, we're working back of shoulder, so usually we do like reverse fly. So I took reverse fly out for this class because reverse fly, you know, you sit down into your legs, and that's something that at the time when I wrote this, I wasn't able to do. But again, it's also less about that and more about the fact that we're taking that momentum out of exercises. So reverse fly, we tend to get a little momentum even when we don't mean to. Whereas if we do exercises where we're, just because we have that natural bend in our leg, right? So even if we don't mean to, we're gonna bounce a little, get a little ump out of those legs. But if we're doing exercises where we stand straight up, we're not getting that. All right, Y, T, Ws. Shoulders back and down. We lift up into our Y down, bringing the weights to our side, out into our T, then we flip, W, down, good, Y, T, W. So we're shooting for 12 on almost every exercise today, 
But again, remember, 10 to 12 is a great range. If you're really challenging yourself to see how heavy you can go, then you can even go as low as eight. Why? You just want to make sure that if it's eight, if it's 10, if it's 12, that they're all successful reps. Good form, using the right muscle groups. That's what it's about. Maybe we're at six here. This one takes a little longer because it's technically three movements in one rep. Seven. to be able to stick with this weight. So I am going to stop at 10. I feel like if I push myself to 12 now, I probably won't be able to keep doing eights. If that's 10, I'm going to, yeah, so I'm going to stop at 10. I'm going to pause, let you kind of work through if you're going to 12, so give me just a little bit of extra time. So like I said, I really don't want to Go down from eight, if I can help it. I'm just really trying to progress a little bit. All right, so it should be done with your 12 now. So we're going back to those high pulls. And again, we're not trying to rush, but part of the superset is sort of staying in the thick of it the whole time to really max out that muscle group. So, and we're just trying to stay within our time frame. So to be honest, if I'm moving way too fast and you want more recovery time, please take it. If you don't really have to be worried about trying to keep something within an hour, go for it. All right, high pulls. Yeah, nope, I ah, just, that's hilarious. I was like, I think I'm gonna try 15s. Nope, 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 nope. Ah. All right, you're probably ahead of me, so please go with your own count. 12, that's hilarious. 11, and that's called listening to your body. As soon as I tried to pull those weights up, my right shoulder was like, are you kidding me? Eight. Seven. Six. Something you can do though, like 10 is just slightly too light for me. I think 12 would be my like mega effort lift on this. You can always up the challenge just a little bit by adding that little brief pause and hold at the top. Now, sometimes I tell you to do that regardless, but just so you know, that is an extra way to get just a little bit more up. Last one out of your weight. If it's just slightly too light. Oh, man. That was funny. That was eye-opening about those 15. Nope. <laughs> All right, guys. Take just a quick reset moment. Wiggle out your shoulders, your neck if you need to. We're going into those Y. T W's. Let's go. One. Again, nice and long. You should have lots of space between your shoulders and your ears. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Feeling it. Seven. Always slow reps down a little bit. Notice I've slowed down some too. That was eight. Nine. 
nine. Then I'm gonna stop at 10. Give you just a second to keep going to 12 if that's where you're going. And remember guys, eight is also a viable place to stop if you are really trying to up your weights. If you're really trying to go heavy with your weights, eight is a nice place to stop too, okay? I just remember, anytime I tell you somewhere's a nice place to stop, you have to evaluate why you're stopping. So if you stop at 10, but you feel like you could have gone to 15 or 16, you're just choosing to stop at 10, guys, you know that's not pushing yourself. That's not really trying to get the work in. If you get to 10 and you feel like, oh my gosh, I could do this one or two times more, maybe, maybe, that is why we stop. All right, guys, we've got those high pulls. And please know I'm not addressing anyone with injuries, recoveries, things like that. We're just talking about anybody fully healthy just showing up to work out today. Three. Four. So again, we're kind of coming up and back. Five. That little squeeze back is where we get the extra money. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, weight stays super close to the body. 11, 12, good job. All right, Woo. back to those YTWs already. <laughs> I also put this at the beginning because it's a nice kind of opening to your chest, opening through your back to do all of these motions. So it's not exactly a warm up for sure, but it is definitely kind of opens up your over body, your over body <laughs> to get ready for the next several sets we have. All right, guys. Y2W's last round. Let's do it. Y. T. W. One. Y. T. So make sure on those T's that you're stopping at shoulder height. You don't want to lift above. As it starts to feel really heavy, that's when you have to focus on making sure you're using those correct muscles. Making sure you're not recruiting through your neck. That's eight. I'm going to try to get out one more. Nine. Go for ten. I'm stopping there. You guys can continue if you wish. Good job, guys. So we are working those shoulders for reals. So as you can tell, and I'm not trying to distract you from your work, so you can keep working if you want. This is our break between sets. So. That exercise, we were working rear shoulder and the front of our shoulder. High pulls and those YTWs kind of recruits the full shoulder. So this next round, again, we're gonna do both. So we're really doing two shoulder supersets, but because there's so many different muscle heads in the shoulder, it's okay. We're hitting the front, the top, and the back your rear shoulder, your rear, rear deltoid, your anterior deltoid. So we're gonna hit shoulders twice, just to make sure that we are hitting everything 
and really getting some good shoulder work in. You really can't hit all heads of the shoulder and really say you've done it effectively with just two exercises. So what we are going to do though is we're going to take a break for our shoulders and we're going to go to our chest and then we're going to circle back around to those shoulders. So that's how we're going to do that superset safely is by doubling down the shoulders and then taking a break and then coming back to it again. Um, the first round was a little more focused on the rear shoulder. The second round is going to be a little more focused on the front of the shoulder. All right, guys, so we are going to a standing chest press and a standing upward chest fly. So we'll talk about what weight you might want for that, and then I'll check on the video. So standing chest press, we are going to, both of these will likely be pretty lightweight exercises for you. Standing chest press, we have the weights here, like we're going to overhead press, but we are going to pull it forward and then open. Pull it forward and then open. So we're squeezing, as you can probably see, chest squeezing up. I'll pull my arms down and just do the shoulders so you can see those chest muscles engaging there. So that's going to be exercise one, most likely very lightweight. As you can see, I can do it with no weights at all, so lightweight. And then we're gonna do a standing upward chest fly. So that is going to be standing with your arms out at like a reverse V or reverse Y. So take your Y, recreate it down low. We're gonna have our weights in our hands, palms facing forward, and then we're going to lift into an angle, squeezing together in the middle. We wanna make sure that we're stopping again about that nipple chest line. If we're coming up here, you're going to feel it in a totally different place, okay? So if you are not feeling chest, you're feeling more like way upper chest or up into your shoulders or up into your neck, that means you're likely taking those weights too high. You want to stop right about nipple line, okay? All right, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to check the video and we'll get going. Beautiful friends. All right, so upward uh, standing chest press. I'm gonna go super light just to test the waters for sure. This is another one because your arms are up. It's really easy for you to start creeping up into your neck. So I'm gonna start really light, five pounds. Let's see where we go from here. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Now this is more upper chest. So with this one, we're hitting more upper chest. Five. With the upper chest fly, we're hitting more mid chest. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Perfect. Set them down. So with these, it's really not so much about the weight with those. It's more about the squeeze that you are kind of imposing on yourself. So like I said, I can make that same action happen without any weights in my hands at all. So it's more about the squeeze that you are creating yourself versus how heavy the weights in your hands are. All right, upward chest flat. Yeah, nice and steady. We're just standing here. Our legs are not doing anything but holding us up. So we've got the weights out wide, shoulders down, squeeze up to the middle, let it go. Two, three, four. So you should be feeling this right in the middle. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Beautiful. Set it down. So again, we're not going for those traditional chest exercises like a chest fly, lying on our back or um, a bench press. These are different things. 
again, because we are changing our body position out of how we normally work to get different results. So also good if you are happy to watch this because you have some sort of leg injury and you're focusing on upper body instead, you don't have that challenge of getting in and out of the floor, off and on a ball, off the bench, something like that. So kind of two folds here with the standing exercises. All right, chest flat. Lift them up and open. Squeeze. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job, guys. Set those down. Woo now, as you can tell, we're still working our shoulders a little bit with these exercises, right? So everything kind of compounds. I've talked about this a lot, especially, I mean, it's really lower body too. Um, but upper body, everything kind of works together. So we say we're moving out of shoulders and on the chest. Our shoulders are still working. Even when we go to biceps and triceps, still working. So ah, don't be surprised if you start to feel a lot of fatigue, maybe even quicker than you would think. That's what's going on. All right, upper chest fly. Open that chest up, shoulders down, arms come out wide. Lift and squeeze. One. Two, but don't come too high. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Awesome. Set those down. We got one more round. Take just a quick little break. Shake things out. Move it around if you need to. Whew. It is coming down good out there now. We really got some rain going. <sighs> so just a heads up, it is raining pretty hard, so I don't know if we're expecting any severe weather, but if things happen to go dark, <laughs> you'll know what's going on. All right, friends, we got one more trip through. Let's do this. All right, open up. Woof, when five pounds feels heavy. Together, open. Two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right, one more round. It's funny, I noticed too, guys, if you saw me do it a few times, I flip the weights all the way around. That is not necessary. That is just my brain remembering Arnold. <laughs> and when I come forward, it's like, aren't we supposed to flip the weights? So don't worry, <laughs> that was my fault. If you were following me, you didn't do anything wrong. You just got a little extra that maybe you didn't need to do. All right, so we've got that standing upward chest flat. Bring them wide, shoulders down. One, two. Again, stop and probably lower than what feels normal. Works. When we're moving up, our body wants to keep moving up, right? It wants to continue that swing forward. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 
10, 11, 12, Woo. all right, set those weights down, Woo. so chest set is done, we've done shoulder set, we've done chest set, I think what we're going to do for a little self-preservation is we're going to stay out of the shoulders, we're not going to go right back to it, let's go to our next set, and maybe even our next set, and save the shoulders for last. We'll see how we're feeling. Also, too, I think maybe saving shoulders for last will be good, just in case we run out of time, because we've already hit shoulders pretty hard. So just in case we're out of time, maybe I'll move that last shoulder set to the end. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to use our chair for the next set, and maybe even the next set, again, depending on how I put them in order. So let's go ahead and grab our chair. We're going to do a seated bicep curl. So nothing particularly special about the bicep curl. So we're just going to do it seated. So for that, go ahead and grab what's a heavy, challenging weight because we're going to just be doing a bicep curl. So grab yourself a challenging weight for bicep curl, and then we're going to do overhead tricep 21s, but seated. Right? So grab what you need. Let's see. I'm not going to worry about putting any weights away because I am all over the place with what I need. So let's see. I'm going to challenge myself and see if I can do 20s with my bicep curl. <sighs> and again, just depending on how hard you are pushing yourself today, we're working in the 10 to 12 range, but 8 is okay if you're really, really going for that push. All right. I'm going to check on the video real quick, grab just a little more water, and then we'll get going. statement than just that, right? <laughs> All right, guys, so, and I'm going to this chair back just a little bit. There we go. So, bicep curl. We want to sit kind of on the edge of the chair. You still want to have your booty firmly on the chair, but we're going to sit to the edge just so you have room to be able to, to move and not be blocking the weights on the chair. We want to sit firmly. We want to have our feet planted. My weight just a little bit more so I can really get my feet firmly planted. So, the one thing about seated exercise is you want to make sure you're sitting properly. So, when we're sitting, we want our feet, our um, legs coming right out of our hips. We want 90 degree bend between knee, ankle, ankle, foot. We want to be sitting very properly, so to speak. So, we don't want to be doing seated lifts with our legs crossed or our legs kind of really in narrow, that puts our back in a weird position, don't want to be hunched over. So make sure that you're sitting yourself up in a very kind of formal way, so your body is nice and stacked and in alignment, okay? So it's not about sitting comfortably right now, it's about sitting properly right now. So we're going to do those bicep curls, and again, 10 to 12, or if you're in kind of your super weight range where you really want to work it, then 8 is also a great place to be. All right. Chest open, palms facing forward. Let's curl. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, good, Let's see if I can go a little further, you keep going, nine, ten, 
I'm going to stop there. Allow for you to get to your 11 and your 12. Perfect. Let's get my chair back just a teeny bit more here. There we go. Just because I'm sitting on the edge of my chair, I feel like I'm <laughs> right in your face. So, all right, guys. So, from here, we're going to go overhead tricep 21. So we've done 21s together before. I may spin to the side of my chair so you can see me from this side. But 21s, we do seven from bottom to mid. We do seven from top to mid. And then we do seven full. So that's 21. Seven at the bottom half, seven at the top half, seven full, okay? We're taking seated into consideration because when we overhead tricep, self very guilty, we kind of again bop into our legs, sort of use our legs for even just the tiniest bit of leverage and off to get that weight back up. When we sit, we've got none of that, okay? So if you've done 21s, we did 21s pretty recently. Um, if you notice maybe your weight's a little less this time, that's your mere likely culprit. That and the fact we've already done a ton of upper body work. All right, so let's get that weight up. Bottom to mid, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way to the top, to mid, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, perfect, seven full, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, perfect, set it down. I actually feel like I need a little heavier, to be honest, so I wasn't as fatigued as I expected to be, so I'm going to bump my weight up just a little bit for this. All right, so we're back to our bicep curl. <sighs> Good. So, remember guys, here we want to be off the edge of our seat, and then we want everything in alignment. One thing I tend to do when I sit is I tend to let my belly kind of fall forward and let my tail rock out behind me, just like we talk about in standing. Point that tail down to the bottom of the seat. Bring your belly in. Now, don't mean Bring that belly into alignment with a nice flat back, tail pointing towards the seat, okay? All right. Let's load her up. Bicep curls. Let's do this. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna try for one more. Nine. You guys keep going. 10 if you're not there. 11 and 12. Good work, guys. All right. And like I said, I'm working on my highest end, so that's why I was stopping at 8 or 9. But if you're not working in that range, if you're working more in that muscle build but not the power range, to 12. All right. Triceps. 21s. So remember, seven bottom, seven top, seven full. Elbows come forward, shoulders down away from the ears, bottom to mid. Six, five, four, three, Two, one, all the way to the top, 
to mid. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven full. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Set it down. All right. We got one more round. Let's take just a quick break here. Let every finger set. Relax. Shake it out. Give your neck some safe movements. I woke up with a really tight neck this morning. I was like, of course. Upper body day. I wake up with a tight neck. Of course I do. All right, friends. Bicep curls. All right. Psyching myself up. <laughs> All right. Keeping those elbows nice and close to the body. Shoulders open up, down away from the ears. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I'm going to try to get to nine just because I've done nine another two times. Nope. <laughs> you guys keep going. Woo. Of course, I got an itch in my nose like the second those reps started. <sighs> okay, guys, it should be about time to finish up those bicep curls. Give me just an extra second. In case you were riding the struggle bus and need a little extra time like I was. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and get set up for that tricep 21. Last round here. <sighs> All right, guys. Again, same setup. Everything locked in. So like I said, watch out for that real belly kind of letting forward where your tail rolls back, really pull everything back in. Tight core, long spine. Also, if you haven't yet, try flipping your grip. So if you're holding goblet, and your right hand is always on top, left on bottom, try switching out, or vice versa. I tend to put my right hand on top, so I'm gonna try on my left, and I'll be honest, sometimes it's a really big difference. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven full. Or no, seven mid to top. Sorry. Six, five, four, three, two. One, seven, full, seven, six, woo, five, four, three, two, one, woo, woo. <sighs> yup, that one did it. <sighs> All right, guys. Whew. That set's done. Hallelujah, right? <sighs> so, we will save the overhead press, or I'm sorry, the, the shoulder set, the last shoulder set. We'll save that for the very last. So let's go ahead and prepare for the lats. So our lat muscles are those nice big back muscles that kind of run down, starting behind the bottom of your shoulders and down through your back, kind of build that nice hourglass kind of shape. 
Um, or if you're a boy, you probably don't say hourglass, but that kind of funnel from the nice wide shoulder to the narrow waist. So lats help that and of course support the spine. So we're going to work on those. So we're going to do lat pull downs seated, which we've done several times lately. So this one, if you work out with me a lot, should feel pretty um, comfortable for you. We've done it several times lately, so that's a lightweight exercise. We're going to pull our weight out like that Y position, and then we're going to pull our elbows down towards our ribs while our hands stay wide. So it's not an overhead press. We stay wide. So it's a movement just through our elbows down to ribs. And then we're going to do a seated lat row. So what that looks like is we're actually going to fold over in our seat, but keep a flat back. So we're not rolling over our legs, okay? That's not what we're looking for. We are reaching our chest forward, leaning in. And then we're gonna have our hands by our sides and we're gonna row straight back from here, okay? So that will probably be lighter than what you normally row. When we're on our hands and knees rowing in tabletop or we're standing and rowing, you might go a little bit lighter, at least until you feel comfortable with your seat, with your position. You might start lighter and just see where you need to go from there, okay? All right, so don't think I need these heavy 20s anymore, so I'm gonna set those away. Perfect. All right, sorry my booty was in the camera for so long there. I was trying to crush my pretty moms. All right guys, I'm gonna take a quick video check. I'll be right back. Well, and it looks like we're actually gonna run out of time for that last shoulder set, so. There we go. And actually what I might do, I think maybe I'll do that instead of completely omitting the third shoulder set, maybe I'll make this set three and we'll include one of the exercises we were going to do. So don't want to leave it out completely. So I think that's what we'll do. So we're going to do seated lat pull downs and then we're going to do our lat rows and then we're going to do some seated pullbacks. Okay? So we'll add that seated pullback because that was something we were going to do in our overhead uh, press and our front raise pullback. Set. So we'll just add a third exercise to this set. We'll still run a little bit long, but not as long as if we did a whole second set. All right, guys, so we're going to start with that seated lat pull down. Again, this is going to be a lightweight exercise. So start in that Y, pull down to ribs. One, two. So it's really not so much about the weight you have but it's how hard you pull those elbows in. So imagine that you could just pull those elbows and crush them right through your ribs. Five. Six. Seven. So see my hands are staying wide. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, beautiful. So we got those lat rows. So we're on the edge of our seat. Again, kind of that 90, 90 hip, knee, ankle. We're gonna sit our chest tall, engage that core, and we're gonna bring our chest forward with a flat back. So we're not dumped over, chest shining forward. From here, our arms come straight, but again, shoulders stay back. We're not rolling our shoulders in either. Everything's flat, and then we pull back. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Everything's close to the body. 6, 5. Four, three, 
two, one. Perfect. Set those down. Now we're going to do pullbacks. So that's going to hit the lats a little bit too. That's why I thought it would be nice to throw this in. It's going to hit the lats a little bit too, but more so that rear shoulder. We want to hit that one more time. So light weights, tail again into that seat. We're going to push forward, but again, we're not rolling our shoulders forward. Forward, pull back. Two, squeeze between those shoulder blades like you're trying to grab a pencil. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. Set that down. And take just a brief little break. So you can feel how all those exercises kind of work together, kind of that region that we're working in our back. So, so I thought throwing that pull back in would be a good idea. It all kind of works together. Now, if you have any discomfort from being seated, I understand. I do. So just take a minute, do a little bit of gentle rotation if you need to, a little round through your back if you need to. Just get yourself comfortable seated again. I know it cannot be comfortable for all of us. All right, lat pull downs. I'm gonna try heavier weight, but I don't think I'm gonna want it. <laughs> all right, reach out, elbows to ribs, one. And again, it's not really about the heavy weight. It makes a difference, of course, but it's way more about how hard are you driving those elbows in and squeezing. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. Also, we're still working our shoulders again. 11. So I really don't feel bad. 12. That we missed that second full shoulder set. We are working our shoulders in pretty much every exercise here. So I'm not feeling bad about it. If you're curious, the only exercise that we're omitting is an alternating seated overhead press. That's the only thing we're alternating. Omitting and I gotta say at this point. I feel like I probably couldn't do it even if I wanted to <laughs> All right guys, we've got that seated row So again open up nice broad chest engage that core and then we set Push our chest forward as we bend so everything is locked down in the back chest is open And we row right past our ribs 12 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, really think about that back, 3, 2, one. Perfect. So in those rows, it's easy to pull through your shoulders or use a lot of bicep. And you are using those muscles. But where I really want you to shoot your energy is to right through here, those back muscles. Right where your back starts to taper in, even if it's only slightly. That's kind of the area I want you to think about. All right, we've got those pullbacks. <sighs> Sit tall, feet firm. Everything solid. Shoulders back. We reach forward while keeping our shoulders plugged back. Squeeze between those shoulder blades. One, two, three, four, 
Seven. Here comes our little helper. Eight. Hi, Rizzo. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Perfect. All right, guys, we've got one more set of those three, and then we will be all done. Hi, little Rizzo. Hi, are you here to help us? Are you here to motivate us? Yes, with your strong upper body. Good job. Good job. Thank you for joining us. All right, guys, so we got one more trip through that. And then I think we will be thoroughly <laughs> upper body cooked with our supersets here. So we got those lat pull downs. And again, remember, it's not about how heavy a weight you have, it's about the effort you're putting into that drive with your elbows. <sighs> Let's go. Out wide. Hands stay wide, elbows drive in. One, two, point that tail into the seat. Three, four, five, six. Like you can crush your elbows right through your ribs. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. Set those down. Got our rows. So, again, guys, it's a lot of posture challenge in those rows, so I really want you to take a sec and make sure that you've got it all set up. There's a lot of things that can go sideways. <sighs> they may or may not necessarily hurt you. It won't cause you instant injury, but you'll either not get much work or you'll have one of those little tinges later where you're like, what did I do? So just hear me out one last time. Set those feet up, 90, 90, 90. Everything's tall, tails in that seat. And then we push our chest out and then down. So we've got a nice long spine. Shoulders plug back. Don't let them roll forward. Plug them back. And then everything else about our row now is normal. Drive those elbows back. Scrape the ribs. 12. 11. Squeeze through that back. 10. 9. 8. Seven. Make sure that gaze is keeping that spine in alignment. Six. Five. So crane your head up. Keep following that spine. Last two. Last one. Perfect. All right, guys. One left. And then we will be all done. Grab those light weights. We've got those pull backs. So again, shoulders plug back. Don't roll forward. All right, guys. Let's do it. Lift out. Pull back. 12. 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. All right, guys. Set those weights down. You can come out of that chair or you can sit. Now you're welcome to slouch if you want. <laughs> oh, man. So, guys, I am going to move my chair just so I don't trip over it here. There we go. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's definitely different, right? We were doing all sorts of different rep ranges. 
we were doing all sorts of different ways. We had seated, we had standing. So I know there was a lot different there, but I hope you kind of got the point of not only, of course, working hard, but how we can just change our body position and get a whole new life out of an exercise maybe that you're just sick of. You know, like I've done rows to death, I don't want to do them anymore. Maybe seated, but it's over like that, it gave you some different perspective. Worked those lats in just a little different way, hit them in a little different place. So definitely something you can play with in your workouts when you are working out with me, when you're working out at home or at the gym. Try things like that, seated, standard, seated on the floor. You guys know I like to do stuff seated on the floor. So definitely try that out too. Give yourself some new perspective, make those muscles work a little different, you'll get some different results. So guys, thanks so much for joining me. We have one more Swole for September class coming up next Saturday, and that'll end our upper body challenge. I would love, if you're playing along silently and not telling me, I would love to hear about your progress I'd love to hear if your weights went up, if you noticed some different tone or definition in your upper body, maybe better stamina. I'd love to hear what, was, what results you are having. So please let me know what you're seeing. I would love to hear it. So guys, lastly, the two things I always ask, again, just to beat that dead horse, is please interact with us on social media. The more, the better. The more you can talk about us, the better we will do. And lastly, if you can, please consider donating. Venmo at Strong Style Fit is where you'll find me. And again, your donations are the only payment I receive for these classes. And I think all of you who do give. So guys, have a great weekend and I will see you soon for another video. Take care.